Hello and welcome to this uh, Power BI video. Uh, we are continuing our tutorial series and in tutorial series we are continuing with calendar. In calendar we have already created calendar year calculations of quarter, month and year and then we are already done with the financial year calculation. Now we are going to work with weeks. Now for the weeks uh, uh, we need few uh, columns which are basically uh, weekday, week start, weekend and all those. So first of all let's go ahead and create first column which is week day okay now weekday is nothing but week day date comma and we are going to start it uh, from monday basically so this is there are three options so monday we are going to call as one so we are going to take this one to seven so we are going to call monday as one so we are going to take this option and then this is weekday now then second important column is week of year and then definitely this is uh, going to give us based on the calendar year and there is no function for financial we have to just do it like we created the difference so we call it week of year which is function is uh, week number and week number is again going to give us uh, uh, how it's going to uh, 52 is going to return 1 to 52 it may have 53 also so now again because we are starting our weekday from monday we are going to start week also from this one and then let's scroll and see how does it uh, giving us number so now because basically we are not creating it for financial year so it's starting with 14 because that's how we change our calendar but let's see okay fine so it's ending at 52 and then 53 or two days are in 53 and then again it's restarting fine so this is fine now now the another thing which we have to do is week start date. Now to calculate week start date, this is really interesting. Now we have a date and if the week start on Monday, so today if it is Monday, so I can get it today's date. Now if it is Tuesday, if I subtract number of days, it's from Monday. So it's one day away from the Monday. Okay. So uh, what we are going to do is we are going to subtract days from the date. And try to reach the weekday so what we are going to do is uh, so start of week so where should we start on monday but we don't have monday so we say okay date now from date i'm going to subtract the weekdays but weekdays is one more okay one more than because if i subtract one day from monday it will reach sunday so what we are going to say we are going to subtract weekday and we need to add one to get the date back again so let's see does it reach monday Okay, so it's saying uh, because the first date would, would can that have a problem because uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and luckily I think 2013 will is starting from Monday, so we are going to get and then continue. Is it continuing like this? This, 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 2013. Let's see where it is ending. Okay, so it's there and it may have a overlapping with the year. Okay, so. 2014 few dates will be coming because the week will start on 30 and 33 and 31 would be there and then this week will continue so that's fine so now end it another uh, other way what one we could add it or we can simply say okay start of the week and plus one so we could say okay end of the week is nothing but start of the week plus six not seven we'll just find it out why it's not seven because seventh day is the next week start again so sixth day is going to end plus six days including that day so this is week start this is week and we got so we got now weekday week of year we got week uh, uh week start week and end week and one thing we are going to do because we need this week on week comparison now to do this uh, stuff we don't have any time intelligence function for that so what we are going to do is important thing is we are going to create two more columns what we are going to create week year uh, that's simply the, the way we created month year is that uh, so week year is one which we can simply say okay we have year and now this is we are going to take cy because cy star 100 plus uh, week of year because that's where week of year let's see and this should be plus okay so start with 14 keep on scrolling keep on scrolling 53 and then it should reset 0 1 okay fine perfect this is looking perfect now we are going to create a rank and this rank is going to help us when we are going to uh, 
uh, do the time intelligence for V because there is no CD function for that in Power BI. So we are going to create a week rank. Now we can either create it on week year or start of the week VA. Better we create it in start of the week. So any kind of week we typically will be able to handle it better manner. So we call it rank X function, which is there for the rank. And we are going to say, okay, all dates, which is to take all date. Now we are going to take start of the week. And next one we are going to change empty. And now we have to take ascending. By default, it take descending. So and then we are going to take dense because we don't want to skip anything. So in this way, now we have a week rank, which we are going to use uh, into the uh, time intelligence for the week. Um, now, this is what we wanted to show you into this video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.